Welcome back. Vietnam in Southeast Asia is famous for its culture, beautiful landscapes, and friendly people. It's a place where travelers can have exciting adventures, and the locals blend old and new traditions in an interesting way. In today's video, we will be discussing the rather unusual things you can only find in Vietnam. Let's begin. 25. They have their own sport. One of Vietnam's distinctive sporting pastimes is Da Cao, a traditional foot volleyball game. In Da Cao, players use their feet, head, knees, and shoulders to keep a weighted shuttlecock known as Cao aloft. This skillful display of coordination and agility has been a part of Vietnamese culture for centuries, fostering not only physical fitness but also a sense of camaraderie among participants. Da Cao is often played informally in parks, on streets, and in rural communities where players of all ages come together to enjoy the game. Moreover, it has gained popularity as a competitive sport, with organized tournaments and events held across the country. The simplicity and accessibility of this game make it a cherished aspect of Vietnam's sporting heritage. 24. Motorbikes cover the roads. Motorbikes have become an integral part of Vietnam's transportation landscape, covering the roads throughout the country. This mode of transport is a cornerstone of daily life for millions of Vietnamese citizens. With the rapid economic growth in recent decades, motorbike ownership has soared, resulting in a high density of motorbikes on the roads. The prevalence of motorbikes can be attributed to their affordability, efficiency, and adaptability in navigating the often congested urban areas. In Vietnam, it's common to see entire families riding on a single motorbike. The roads of major cities like Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City are characterized by a sea of motorbikes weaving through traffic, often forming a unique and fluid pattern. But the significant number of motorbikes on the roads has raised concerns about traffic safety and environmental impact. The government has implemented various measures to address these issues, such as promoting the use of helmets and encouraging the adoption of electric motorbikes to reduce emissions. 23. Kaodism. Kaodism is a special and mixed religion that started in Vietnam in the early 1900s. It combines ideas from different religions like Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism, and even Christianity and Islam, making it unique. Ngo Minh Chieu, a civil servant, created it in the 1920s, and it began in Thai Ninh, a city in southern Vietnam. In Cao Daism, people worship a group of gods that includes Jesus Christ, Buddha, Confucius, and Laozi, among others. They follow sacred texts called the Cao Daist Canons, which contain teachings from various religious figures. This religion focuses on being good, praying, and growing spiritually. People who follow Cao Daism, known as Cao Dai, take part in colorful and fancy religious ceremonies that often involve incense and detailed rituals. There is a clear structure with priests, bishops, and cardinals in this religion. 24. Even though Kaodaism is a relatively small religious group, it has had a big impact on Vietnamese culture and society. It played a role in Vietnam's history, especially during the Vietnam War, when it became politically important and gained many followers. Today, Kaodaism is still an important part of Vietnam's religious traditions, living alongside other beliefs and adding to the country's diverse religious mix. 22. All the types of temples you can find. The warmth and kindness of the Vietnamese people is one of the nation's most enduring qualities. It's a trait that you can hardly see anywhere else in the world. The presence of numerous types of temples across the country is a proof that the nation is more open-minded than most. These temples, regardless of their religious affiliation, often serve as open and welcoming spaces. Visitors, whether locals or foreigners, are typically encouraged to explore and partake in the cultural and spiritual practices within these temples. The willingness to share their customs and traditions with others reflects the Vietnamese people's genuine desire to connect and build bridges with those from different backgrounds. 21. Ho Chi Minh's body is on display. Ho Chi Minh's preserved body on display is a poignant symbol of his enduring legacy and the deep reverence the Vietnamese people hold for their founding father. Located in Hanoi's imposing Ho Chi Minh mausoleum, this solemn exhibit allows visitors to pay their respects to the iconic leader of the Vietnamese Communist Party and the country's first president. Ho Chi Minh, or Uncle Ho, as he is affectionately known, 
played a pivotal role in Vietnam's struggle for independence and reunification. The process of preserving Ho Chi Minh's body is meticulous, and the mausoleum is a site of utmost solemnity. Visitors are required to dress respectfully and maintain a hushed demeanor while paying their respects. 20. They love dragon fruit. While dragon fruit is not only found in Vietnam, their love for dragon fruit is deeply rooted in Vietnamese culture and daily life. It's a popular fruit that can be found in markets, supermarkets, and even street stalls throughout the country. Its vibrant magenta or white flesh speckled with tiny black seeds makes it not only a delicious treat, but also a visually appealing addition to the dining table. Dragon fruit is renowned for its high nutritional value, containing essential vitamins and minerals, making it a healthy choice for many. It's a versatile fruit, enjoyed fresh as a snack or in various culinary creations, including fruit salads, smoothies, and desserts. What adds to the fondness for dragon fruit is its association with auspiciousness and good luck in Vietnamese culture. The vibrant red or white colors are considered symbols of prosperity and happiness, making dragon fruit a popular gift during festivals and special occasions. 19. Teachers are highly respected. Teachers hold a position of immense respect in Vietnamese society, and this reverence for educators has deep historical and cultural roots. In Vietnam, the teacher is often referred to as Tai Ko or Giao Vien, and their role goes far beyond imparting knowledge in the classroom. This respect for teachers can be traced back to Confucian traditions, which emphasize the importance of education and scholarship. Confucius himself is highly esteemed, and his teachings have greatly influenced Vietnamese culture. As such, teachers are seen as custodians of wisdom and moral values, entrusted with shaping the character and intellect of the younger generation. In Vietnamese families, children are raised to regard their teachers with deference and gratitude. It is common for students to offer small gifts or tokens of appreciation to their teachers as a sign of respect. The bond between teachers and students often extends beyond the classroom, with many teachers providing guidance and mentorship in students' personal and professional lives. Teachers are celebrated on occasions like Teacher's Day, which is observed on November 20th. On this day, students express their gratitude and admiration for their educators through various gestures and tokens of appreciation. 18. Unknown facts about vegetarianism in Vietnam. In Vietnam, dietary choices vary among followers, but it is a common practice for many Buddhists to abstain from consuming meat. For some Buddhists, particularly monks and nuns, vegetarianism is a lifelong commitment. They adhere to a strict vegetarian or vegan diet as a fundamental aspect of their monastic vows. Lay Buddhists, on the other hand, may choose to practice vegetarianism on specific days of the month during religious holidays or for the duration of certain retreats. The dietary choices of Buddhists also vary depending on the tradition and school of Buddhism they follow. For example, Theravada Buddhism generally promotes a stricter interpretation of vegetarianism, while Mahayana Buddhism tends to be more lenient, allowing for the consumption of certain types of meat under specific conditions. The concept of ahimsa, or non-harm, is central to Buddhist philosophy. By embracing a meat-free diet, Buddhists seek to reduce suffering in the world and cultivate greater compassion and mindfulness in their daily lives. 17. Bamboo Stick – An Interesting Cultural Feature on Floating Markets in Vietnam Bamboo sticks serve as a fascinating cultural feature on the bustling floating markets of Vietnam, such as the Cai Rang floating market in the Mekong Delta. These markets are vibrant, unique, and intrinsic to Vietnamese culture, and the use of bamboo sticks plays a pivotal role in their functioning. The bamboo stick, often adorned with the goods being sold, acts as a makeshift flag, signaling what each boat has on offer. These flags, or bamboo poles, serve as a dynamic and visual language in the absence of traditional market stalls. Vendors hoist a sample of their products, be it fruits, vegetables, or other goods, atop these sticks. The products on display are a lively, colorful sight, catching the eye of potential buyers from afar. Floating markets are lively hubs of commerce and social interaction, where locals and visitors can sample fresh produce, snacks, and traditional dishes while immersed in the vibrant waterscape of the Mekong Delta. 16. Free Wi-Fi 
free Wi-Fi availability throughout Vietnam is a notable feature of the country's modern infrastructure. What's your Wi-Fi password? Uh, what's the Wi-Fi password? What's the Wi-Fi password? This widespread access to the internet shows Vietnam's commitment to advancing technology and connecting its citizens and visitors in an increasingly digital world, a feature that fundamentally distinguishes Vietnam from other countries in the region. In recent years, the Vietnamese government has made significant efforts to expand and improve internet access across the nation. Many public spaces, including airports, bus stations, and parks, offer complementary Wi-Fi connections. Additionally, numerous hotels, restaurants, cafes, and shopping centers provide free Wi-Fi to enhance the overall experience for customers. This extensive Wi-Fi coverage has not only simplified communication and navigation for tourists, but has also played a crucial role in the daily lives of Vietnamese residents. It has opened up opportunities for online education, e-commerce, and increased connectivity in both urban and rural areas. 15. No legal drinking age. Vietnam dances to its own tune when it comes to legal sips. No fixed age, just a sip of cultural freedom. This country is one of the countries that does not have a specific legal drinking age. While there is no defined age at which individuals are prohibited from consuming alcoholic beverages, there are some regulations in place to manage alcohol sales and consumption. In practice, the legal age for purchasing and consuming alcohol varies from establishment to establishment. Many places serving alcohol, such as bars, clubs, and restaurants, may enforce their own age restrictions, typically setting it at 18 or 21 years, aligning with international norms. The lack of a nationwide legal drinking age in Vietnam shows a certain level of freedom and cultural tolerance when it comes to alcohol. Be that as it may, it's crucial to note that despite the absence of a specific age requirement, the responsible consumption of alcohol is encouraged and individuals are expected to exercise discretion and moderation. In recent years, the Vietnamese government has been working to regulate the sale and consumption of alcohol more comprehensively. This includes stricter enforcement of drunk driving laws and campaigns to promote responsible drinking. 1454 officially recognized ethnic groups in Vietnam. Vietnam is known for its remarkable ethnic diversity, with 54 officially recognized ethnic groups coexisting within its borders. This mosaic of cultures and traditions has played a significant role in shaping the nation's identity and history. Among these 54 ethnic groups, the Kin people, who are often referred to as the Vietnamese, constitute the majority, accounting for a significant portion of the population. The remaining 53 ethnic groups are considered minorities, and they inhabit various regions throughout the country. Each of these ethnic groups possesses its own unique language, customs, dress, and cultural practices. The diversity is most evident in the northern mountainous regions, where communities like the Hmong, Dao, and Thai reside, each with distinct traditions and lifestyles. In the central highlands, the Ede, Jarai, and Banar communities maintain their unique ways of life, closely tied to the region's lush landscapes. 13. There are only around a hundred surnames found in the country. Vietnam is notable for having a limited number of surnames, with approximately 100 common family names that are shared by a vast portion of the population. This unique feature of Vietnamese culture has historical and sociological roots. The prevalence of a relatively small number of surnames is primarily attributed to historical factors, including the tradition of family names being passed down through generations. The use of common surnames also revolves around the Confucian influence on Vietnamese society. Confucianism, with its emphasis on social hierarchy and filial piety, played a crucial role in the development of naming conventions, contributing to the concentration of surnames. The most common Vietnamese surnames include Nguyen, Tran, Le, Pham, Huang, and Nguyen. The last name Nguyen is so prevalent that it's often referred to as the emperor's surname. 12. Wearing and Eating Silkworms Silkworms are primarily known for their role in producing silk, but they also serve as a unique source of food in Vietnamese culinary traditions. Silkworm pupai, often referred to as dao trang or bo lot in Vietnamese, are a popular and protein-rich snack. They are enjoyed in various forms, including fried or roasted with seasonings. 
The taste is often described as nutty or savory, and they are a common street food in Vietnam, particularly in rural areas. The silk produced by silkworms, on the other hand, is used in the country's vibrant textile and fashion industry. Vietnam is known for its silk production, and the silk fabric is used to create a wide range of clothing items, from traditional I.O. dye dresses to modern fashion pieces. The dual use of silkworms in Vietnam showcases the resourcefulness of Vietnamese culture, where these creatures are not only valued for their silk, but also for their role in providing a unique and nutritious culinary experience. 11. Substantial Army Vietnam maintains one of the most substantial military forces in the world. The Vietnam People's Army is a comprehensive military organization that encompasses various branches, including the Ground Force, Navy, Air Force, Border Defense, and Coast Guard. With millions of active duty personnel, the VPA plays a crucial role in ensuring national defense and sovereignty. The VPA has undergone significant modernization efforts, acquiring advanced equipment and technology to enhance its capabilities. In addition to its defensive role, the VPA has also participated in international peacekeeping missions, contributing to regional and global stability. Vietnam's strategic location in the Asia-Pacific region makes its military forces a key factor in maintaining stability and security in the area. 10. Around 85% of Vietnamese claim to not practice any religion. Vietnam is a country known for its diverse religious landscape, while there is a significant presence of various religious traditions. The truth is that a substantial portion of the population, approximately around 85%, identifies as non-religious or does not practice any formal religion. This religious diversity includes adherence of Buddhism, followed by folk religions, Christianity, both Catholicism and Protestantism, and other faiths such as Daoism and Hoahaoism. Despite this rich tapestry of beliefs, many Vietnamese people may align with secular or atheistic worldviews, demonstrating a historical influence of communist ideology. The relatively high number of non-religious individuals in Vietnam also has deep historical and socio-political roots, particularly related to the country's experiences during and after the Vietnam War. It's important to note that individual beliefs and practices can vary widely, and there is a degree of syncretism where elements of various belief systems may coexist in the lives of many Vietnamese. Aero 9. Speed Dating. Vietnamese people have a rich history of innovation, and one interesting contribution to modern dating practices is the concept of speed dating, which actually originated in this exotic country. In modern Vietnam, speed dating has evolved into a popular way for people to meet and connect with potential partners efficiently. These events, held in cities like Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City, reflect the nation's dynamic approach to dating, combining tradition with contemporary practices. Participants rotate through quick, face-to-face -face conversations, making it easier to identify compatibility and establish initial connections. Air 8 Bikini Airline The Vietnamese Bikini Airline is a reference to Viet Jet Air, a privately owned airline based in Vietnam. This airline is known for its unconventional and attention-grabbing marketing tactics, including having flight attendants dressed in bikinis during certain promotional events and in-flight activities. Vietjet Air, founded in 2007, quickly gained attention for its innovative and sometimes controversial marketing strategies. The Bikini Airline image was part of their efforts to attract passengers and create a unique brand identity. The airline has held events such as in-flight bikini fashion shows and used images of bikini-clad models in their advertisements. It's important to note that while these marketing tactics generated media buzz and drew attention to the airline, they have also faced criticism and raised questions about the objectification of women in the airline industry. While their early marketing strategies were unconventional, the airline has continued to grow and evolve, focusing on providing affordable and accessible air travel to a wide range of passengers. Euro 07 Egg Coffee Egg coffee, known as coffee trung in Vietnamese, is a unique beverage that has become synonymous with Hanoi's coffee culture. This iconic drink is made by blending strong Vietnamese coffee with a creamy mixture of egg yolks and sweetened condensed milk, resulting in a thick, frothy, and rich concoction. Egg coffee was created in the 1940s when milk was scarce in Vietnam. 
and inventive coffee enthusiasts sought alternative ways to achieve a creamy texture. The addition of egg yolk, sugar, and condensed milk provided a luxurious velvety topping that complemented the robust coffee base. Served in small cups, egg coffee has a luxurious and dessert-like quality. The bold coffee flavor pairs harmoniously with the sweet and creamy egg mixture, creating a satisfying and indulgent drink. It's often enjoyed as an afternoon treat or after a meal. Pro 6 Self-Ear Cleaning Anytime Anywhere In Vietnam, self-ear cleaning is a common practice that can be done anytime and anywhere. This cultural habit involves using small metal or plastic tools, often shaped like tiny spoons or scoops, to clean the ears. Many men in Vietnam, especially in rural areas, keep their pinky fingernails long, specifically for this purpose. This longer pinky fingernail, often referred to as the ear picking nail or kai tai nail, serves as a dedicated tool for cleaning the ears. Ear cleaning is often seen as a form of self-care, akin to brushing one's teeth or taking a shower. It's not unusual to witness individuals, young and old, performing this task in various public spaces, including parks, buses, and even while waiting at a cafe. 5. Bamboo Pipe Smoking Bamboo pipe smoking, often referred to as D.A. Cao in Vietnamese, is a traditional form of tobacco consumption that holds historical and cultural significance in Vietnam. This practice involves using a bamboo pipe to smoke tobacco, sometimes mixed with aromatic herbs or other flavorings. The bamboo pipe is typically a slender, handcrafted piece of bamboo, often adorned with intricate carvings or designs. The bowl at one end is used to hold the tobacco, while the other end is used as a mouthpiece. The design of the bamboo pipe allows for a smooth and lacerly smoking experience. Bamboo pipe smoking has deep roots in Vietnamese rural culture, particularly among farmers and laborers. It was a way to unwind after a day's work and engage in social interactions. The practice is often associated with communal bonding and storytelling, making it an essential part of the country's social fabric. Four people hired to cry at funerals. In Vietnam, the practice of hiring people to cry at funerals is a long-standing tradition that continues to this day. These individuals, known as Ran Roy mourners, are often women who specialize in expressing grief through vocal lamentations and physical displays of mourning. The role of these mourners is multifaceted. They are hired to convey the depth of sorrow and sadness felt by the deceased's family, creating a solemn and emotional atmosphere. Their mournful cries and expressions of grief serve to symbolize the love and respect the family has for the departed. The tradition of employing mourners can be traced back to cultural beliefs in Vietnam. It's believed that the louder and more expressive the mourning, the more the deceased is honored and remembered. The mourners are also tasked with guiding the spirit of the deceased to the afterlife, which is considered a crucial role in Vietnamese funeral rituals. 03. Choosing a custom phone number. Choosing a custom phone number in Vietnam is a unique and somewhat sought-after practice, reflecting the cultural significance placed on numerology and symbolism in Vietnamese society. In Vietnam, specific phone numbers, often featuring auspicious digits, are considered more desirable and can be customized to fit personal preferences. Vietnamese culture places a strong emphasis on numbers and their perceived meanings. For example, the number 8 is considered lucky as it sounds similar to the word for wealth and the number nine symbolizes longevity. Conversely, the number four is often avoided because it sounds similar to the word for death. When selecting a custom phone number, individuals often aim to include repetitions of lucky numbers, such as eight or nine, while avoiding those considered unlucky, such as four. The desire for specific numbers extends to license plates and other areas of life where numbers are used. 02. Wearing pajamas as day wear. Wearing pajamas as day wear in Vietnam is a common and culturally accepted practice, particularly in more casual and relaxed settings. This unique fashion trend, known as Debo DP Jama, or literally walking in pajamas, involves donning comfortable sleepwear for activities beyond bedtime. The tradition of wearing pajamas as day wear in Vietnam is deeply rooted in the culture's emphasis on comfort and practicality. Light and breathable fabrics make pajamas ideal attire for the country's hot and humid climate. 
It's not uncommon to see people wearing pajamas while grocery shopping, running errands, or spending leisure time in parks. This practice reflects the laid-back and easygoing nature of Vietnamese culture, where personal comfort often takes precedence over formal dress codes. Eero One Balance of the Five Flavors Vietnamese cuisine is truly distinctive, with its emphasis on achieving the perfect balance of the five flavors – sweet, sour, bitter, salty, and umami. This unique approach to cooking showcases the artistry of Vietnamese culinary traditions. From savory pho to tangy bun cha, each dish is a harmonious blend of these tastes, meticulously crafted to create a sensory experience that is both complex and deeply satisfying. This focus on balance is not only a tribute to the Vietnamese people's culinary expertise, but also to their cultural appreciation of food as a source of joy, nourishment, and communal connection. It's a cuisine that has captivated palates around the world, celebrated for its rich flavors and healthy ingredients. Vietnamese food, with its unmistakable blend of flavors, is an integral part of the nation's cultural identity, making it a cherished culinary heritage. Well, that's all we have for today. If you liked today's video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to check out our page and watch more videos as well. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.